What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for all signs, got to decide you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. 12 3 2022, 7.47 p.m. Central Standard Time. Love you guys. I still know the channeling. I was going to do some sign readings, but they're coming in all day, so we're doing it. Just saying. Um, hope everybody's doing okay. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so the channel message I received was, um, oh shit, I forgot it. Give me a second. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, for one, at least for one of you guys, it might resonate for more than one, but for at least one of you guys, you're about to learn a neighbor is about to unexpectedly move. I heard you're about to learn about it within the next month. That's what I heard. You plug it in, how it resonates. So, um, how that resonates. One of you guys are about to learn. I guess you didn't realize your neighbor was about to move. Um, you're about to learn about it within the next month. Now, I think you could learn about it from a for sale sign in their front yard, a for rent sign in their front yard, a listing tube in their front yard. Maybe they tell you verbally, mouth to mouth, um, not mouth to mouth, but <laughs> face to face or um, or you see it listed, like they're home listed in the newspaper or something, um, or somebody else tells you. But um, how that resonates. Uh, but you did not expect this neighbor to move. They're about to move, and it's going. You're going to learn about it within the next month. Now we're going with that. Just saying, just saying. Because I wasn't planning on doing any more. That's all I got so far. So you plug it in. How it resonates. They don't want to tell you that they cannot afford any more. They cannot afford it anymore. They don't want to tell you they cannot afford it anymore is what I heard. So they can't afford their rent. They can't afford their mortgage. They can't afford um, whatever. I'm assuming we're in a mortgage. Um, they can't afford the payment or payments anymore, or maybe the electricity or something, but they don't want to tell you that's why they're moving. Um, now, for some, I feel you could learn about it face-to-face, -face, but for some, I feel you're going to learn about it like the, a posting, uh, newspaper or online posting, which, you know, most newspapers are online these days, or a tube in their front yard, a sign, how that resonates, Okay. But they're, but they're not, if they tell you face-to-face, -face, they're not going to tell you it's because they can't afford it. So you plug in how it resonates. Ooh. I heard you're going to learn about it within the next month. So for some, I don't think they're actually going to move out within the next month. I just think you're going to learn about them moving within the next month. For one, they're caught up in legal issues. Heavy legal issues. And they don't want the neighborhood to know about this, but through many series of chain events, they're about to find out anyways. Okay, so there's at least two of them, at least two in the universe. For one of them, they're caught up in very heavy legal issues, but they don't want their neighborhood to know. And for one, I think you're their neighbor. And I'm just being for real, um, obviously. But they don't want the neighborhood to know they're caught up in very heavy legal issues. But that's one of the reasons... They can't afford it. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, that's for one of them. An air sign is getting a huge wake-up call. An air sign is getting a huge wake-up call. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You can't make this shit up, man. House reversed. Uh, Gem oh, my God. Look at this. You can't make this shit up even if you wanted to. House reversed. Courthouse upright. You can't make it up, man. Um, I heard air signs getting a huge ass wake up call. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and there's sun, moon, rising, Venus, Wolf, Feminine, and Hamish, Jupiter, chart, some kind of air sign. It could be a high vibrational, low vibrational air sign. They're getting a huge wake up call. They cannot afford it. 
whether they're in legal, heavy legal issues and they don't want their neighborhood and community to, to know or they're not. I feel this is rent or mortgage. Maybe they're foreclosed upon or eviction coming or something like that. Number 20 or 23 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 20 or 23, it could be a possible age user of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number, 20 or 23. You can't make this shit up even if you wanted to. I mean, I got the channelings, then these are the cards that came out. They don't want, we got message reversed. They don't want to tell you it's because they can't afford it, whether it's heavy legal issues with the courthouse energy or not. For one, they're going to move back in with the parent. <clears throat> For one, they're moving out to the country. It's a city in Oz area. There's at least two situations. So for one, whether they're in heavy legal issues or not, they just can't afford it. One is going to move back in with a parent or parents. And one, they're going to move to a um, country in Oz um, suburban, uh, not suburban, but a country and uh, less populated area, basically. Um, uh, it's both city and eyes areas, both city and eyes urbanized areas. Do you plug in and how it resonates? Um, wow. This also, also I can see this is foreclosure like auction, like to the courthouse, can't pay it, auction, coming to the courthouse, auction notice, possibly. If it goes that far, I mean, I'm not sure. They might fast, if they own it, they might fast cash the um, home, possibly. Um, it could be a rental situation or a home buying situation, how that resonates and applies. But one's going to move to the country where it's cheaper, which cost of living is typically cheaper in country and areas. And areas. Um, and one, uh, they're going to move back in with a pair of parents. And both of these situations are city and urbanized areas. Wow. And an air sign's getting a huge wake up call. This is about to create energy shifts. This is about to create energy shifts. This is about to create energy shifts. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Wow. So you plug it in how it resonates, man. I don't feel guided to pull any more. Um, I'll just see if I hear anything else. Um, it, it, the energy shift would make sense because the, their energy is going to be moving out of your neighborhood. You probably will get new energy in. Like, I'll give you a good example. Like, I told y'all that my ho the home next to me was for sale, but it's bought now. It's bought by a nice uh, middle-aged couple, uh, family-type unit over there. Um, they're very quiet, very peaceful, and I'll... So far, I love living next to them. They have never caused me any problems. I need to introduce myself to them. I haven't done it yet, but they've been very busy moving in. They just recently, um, the U-Haul came in recently within the last week or so. Um, so they're busy moving in. I didn't want to disturb them, but um, they seem wonderful. Much better than the assholes I had living in that, in the house, in that same house the last, much better, much, much better. Those people that lived in that home the last time, one, trashed the home, and two, drank and abused their kids and yelled and screamed and treated me like shit and all kinds of crazy shit. So, I'm glad they're gone. They were a bunch of trying to find a nice term. Backwoods, outdated belief system people, basically. And that's just the truth. Um, so, these people are a huge refresh positive refresh compared to what i was living to next to um previous to that and that's just the truth um at least so far and that's just the truth um but it's going to be an energy shift so the i just used my example as an example but my point is in old energy is moving out and new energy is moving in now that could go in your favor not in your favor with the will of fortune energy only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, okay? Let's pull a couple, and I'll see if I get anything else. 
Yeah, I really, the new people who live over there, they seem great. I'm just serious. Hopefully, they don't have no hidden cameras in their house. Just saying, just saying. And for one of these neighbors, the femme didn't think she could get pregnant, but she's about to find out she's pregnant. She works in a hospital, and she's about to find out she's pregnant, and she's pregnant with somebody that works in the hospital's child. It's not the person she lives with. They're having huge conflict behind the scenes right now because of this. Whoa! Oh, holy sh <laughs> so juicy <laughs> whoa okay so there's at least two situations one of them um whether they're going to be in heavy legal issues or not whether they're moving in with the parent or parent or not one of them is the masculine and femme energy and the femme works at a hospital i heard she's pregnant she didn't think she could get pregnant but she uh either knows she's pregnant now or is about to find out she's pregnant but I heard it's somebody that works in the hospitals with her child. Um, not the masculine that lives with her. I'm assuming in your neighborhood, sir, ma'am. Um, I heard it's causing huge conflict between the masculine and Finn that lives in this home right now. Uh, because it's not his kid. I'm sure he knows it's not. I mean, I'm sure they know when the last time they had sex. or I don't know. I don't know. I don't know their sex life. I don't want to know. But the point is. I'm assuming he knows or she's told him it's not his kid. Um, I heard it's the person in the hospital. There's some kind of co-worker she works with in a hospital. It's his kid. Oh, it might be an air signs kid. Because I heard an air signs getting a huge wake-up call. You plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages. <laughs> Do you have to like, <laughs> God, this is too much. <sighs> Spirit messages here. Marriage contract, no love, or the rental agreement, no love, or the mortgage. Damn. I'm going to stop here. For one, you might experience, see an argument, an unexpected argument in someone's front yard soon. They don't want to do it in public in the front yard, but through many series of chain of events, it might happen. It's about them having to move and about the child. Whoa! <laughs> Y'all, it's so juicy. I love being single. And that's just the truth. I love being hashtag single, single as a Pringle, single on the tax reform, tax form. I'm serious. Yikes. No relationship for me. Okay, so these people don't want to do it in public. They don't want to do it in public, i.e. in their front yard. But they're having such trouble paying their mortgage or their rent or whatever, whatever. Obviously, they're not on Section 8. Whoever these people are, they're not on Section 8. I'll tell you that for real, for real. Okay, obviously. Um, or if they are, they have to pay over then the Section 8 voucher. How there is an 8th and applies. I don't know. I've never been on Section 8. So I don't know how that works. But my point is, whether, however the, this resonates, they cannot afford to pay the rent or mortgage. Fight, this is the rent or the mortgage or um, fighting over the child. How that resonates and applies with the Hierophant and the Ace of Cups reverse. No love in the situation. Conflicts. Um, but it's because of 
This could be the rental agreement, the mortgage, or what have you, what have you. Or if they're married, if the couple's married. I didn't hear they're married. The one with the hospital affair. But you plug in how it resonates. Could be a Taurus involved, possibly, or not. This torn energy. But you plug in how it resonates. Holy crap, man. But I heard they don't want to, um, they don't want to do it in public. They don't want people to know they're arguing over rent, mortgage, or the whatever, whatever not being paid, can't be paid because they don't have the money for it. Or, um, uh, the baby not being the masculines in the home because it's a hospital worker, masculine energy, a hospital worker's child. And I didn't hear what occupation the hospital worker is. I didn't hear what occupation she is, but she definitely works in a hospital and she has a, a she's in an affair with a, somebody that works in her hospital. The affair is about to get around like wildfire in this hospital. Wildfire. The affair is about to get around like wildfire in this hospital. Wildfire. So uh, people are about to start talking about this affair in the hospital. This could be the hospital too. Um, an organization. Um, the affair is about to get around like wildfire in the hospital. Um, wow. All right. I'm closing this out. Juicy enough. Love you. Namaste.